Hello to my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Red Chapter on Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way through the underworld and we defeated Missingno, who turned out to be Ash's Pikachu all along. Today we're going to go ahead and explore a couple more islands. So let's talk to our girl Shiva, who you guys can see is back. So she's going to be able to teleport us around. Let's go ahead and make our way all the way back to Kumquat Island. And we will be continuing from here. So let's go ahead and get things started. I'm very excited for today. Once again, thank you guys so much for your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button as it really does help the series. We have made it to Route 18 and it looks like we're going to have our first battle of the day. So we just took down a Mega Alakazam Y. Be on the lookout for all these Mega guys because they're only going to keep on coming. With that, we got ourselves an Elixir. And that's probably going to tell us that there are going to be some battles coming up. But I am definitely A-OK -okay with that. Looks like there is a Swimmer. So let's go ahead and take them on. It's always nice to surf around to explore these islands to see what we will be able to find there's nothing up there, but it looks like there might be something here. What do we have? We got ourselves a Raticate X! Very cool! So with that, guys, we should be able to, you know, if you want, get yourself a Mega Raticate X. Let's keep moving through here, then. We have made it to... Naranja Island! So Naranja, that means orange. We have made it to Orange Island. I wonder what we'll find here. This place is a little bit mysterious. I feel like there is going to be something here waiting for us. Let's keep moving through here then, guys, and see what we can find. Ooh, a little area for us to surf. Definitely, you know, gonna go ahead and get this Pokeball. You never know what we can find. I know that we are gonna be finding some Mega Stones left and right very, very soon from the tips that you guys gave me. So I'm definitely excited about that. I love the fact that this game has a bunch of Megas. I think that's very, very cool. Yeah, we're gonna use another Repel. The water is a... What? We can surf here? I don't know if we're supposed to be able to surf here, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And let's give it a shot, guys. Oh, my goodness. There is a little bit of a glitch here where you can surf. That is pretty cool. So I'm not sure if that's what we're supposed to do. But as you guys can see, you can surf around here. That's pretty funny. I'm going to go ahead and jump down, though. You know, it's going to find things like that once in a while. I'm going to cross this bridge because now we can tell we need to go to the left. And I wonder what would happen if you surfed here. You'd probably get stuck. So I'd say be careful with that. Why does this guy have two really high level metapods? That doesn't make any sense. Evolve your team, dude. Get some better Pokemon. That guy had a Mega Pidgeot Y. That was pretty tough. Now let's go for a surf. We have finally made it to the other side of Naranja Island. So let's see what we'll be able to find here on Naranja Island couple more swimmers, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up our team before we do go any further. There's also a little cave up ahead. So my guess is that we're probably going to have a bunch more battles coming up. That is kind of how it goes here. You guys may have noticed here in Adventures Red, levels are getting tougher and the battles are only getting more difficult. And I like that. It makes it a lot more challenging and it's been a heck of a time. So with that, guys, everybody is pretty good to go. We could battle him. We could look around. You know what? I'll... Could look around a little bit, but I'm tempted to go inside of this cave. So let's step inside then and see what we can find in here. This is still Route 18. Let's go deeper into the cave. Is this just looping me around? Okay, I think this might be just looping us all the way around. Wait, whoa, whoa. It's the same Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flare Flareon from before. It's going to get burned alive. Wait, what happened? Was I imagining it? What was that? Why do we just see those Pokemon? There's something strange going on inside of this cave. What the heck? Ho ho! -oh! That's Suicune, Entei, and Raikou! So the legendary dogs are the reincarnation of Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon! 
Oh my goodness, so that is what we're seeing here. We're seeing the story of the legendary dogs being told. Let's head deeper into the cave then and see if we can get a little more story told to us. Okay, this is very, very weird. And that is what it's been leading us to. So it looks like we are going to take on Raikou. So let's go ahead and get prepared. You're Raikou, aren't you? You were the one weaving those delusions just then, right? So you used to be a Jolteon before dying in a fire? Why are you telling me this? Huh? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Raikou. So for some reason, it is Raikou that had been telling us that story. And why else would he be telling us that story unless we were going to catch him? So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I put Thor up in front since Thor is level 81. And then hopefully, you know, this Raikou won't do that much to us. I'm hoping that we'll be able to weaken it enough and catch it, which would be very, very great. It's a good thing that we found this Pokemon here then. We got very, very lucky. I didn't expect us to find a legendary Pokemon inside of one of these caves, but that is A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and go for that Surf. It is actually doing a good amount of damage to the Raikou, which I am pretty happy with. We could also knock this Raikou to sleep, which would be good. We do have Boomy and a couple other Pokemon who are ready for that. But right now, we got it in the red. I don't know if I really want to switch or if I want to throw a Pokeball, but we're going to go ahead and go for the Pokeball. Cross your fingers, guys, and let's hope that this one will stick. So we're going to open up with our first Ultra Ball. Come on, level 80 Raikou. We want you on the team. We want to catch you. We want you in the PC. He's going to go for the Calm Mind. We're not going to let that stick, though. We are not going to let him power himself up. We're not going to let him get that further ahead of us. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things up as soon as we can. And there's a Pokemon that I have a lot of faith in. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to Soul. And Soul does have Sleep Powder. And I think that Sleep Powder is going to be very, very crucial taking down this Raikou. We'll see how much the Discharge does because the Raikou is using the Calm Mind. So it could prove to be a little bit of a tougher opponent but right now soul is gonna be able to tank that out soul is a big mega venusaur i don't think there's gonna be too much that can penetrate it's you know big thick skin so let's go for the sleep powder and this is how we're gonna do things guys once in a while we plan things out right and it looks like we have done pretty well this time we have raikou in the red we also have it asleep we got the rain stop so soul is definitely gonna be happy about this and it's time for us to throw another Ultra Ball, ladies and gentlemen. And let's see how this one's going to go. We do have 70 in the bag. So even if this, this one doesn't hit, we're still going to keep going for it. And we're going to hope that one of them hits eventually. That was so close. That was almost there. Right, Goo? We're going to go ahead and throw one more, man. We're going to throw another Ultra Ball. And we're going to hope that you stick with us this time. I've also picked up a couple other balls, as you can see. Make sure you pick up your Pokeball, stock up on your items, because it is getting very, very tough around here. Adventures Red is a tough game, and with that, got you! Raikou is caught! So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That worked out quite well for us, and I'm actually really happy about that, and a little bit surprised how fast that went. With that, we got Raikou the Thunder Pokemon. It is 6 feet tall and weighs 392 pounds. That is a big, big dog! This Pokemon races across the land while barking cry that sounds like crashing thunder. And with that, guys, we are not going to give Raikou a nickname. We are going to send him to the PC. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have caught Raikou. I can't believe that. That is so cool. So let's go ahead and make our way out of this place then. It was great that Raikou was the one telling us the story. And we found an escape rope inside of here. I had to check what was in this room. I can't just keep going without checking this out. Ooh, what is this? We found a rare candy as well. So they gave us a rare candy. They gave us an escape rope, maybe for a reason. So let me go ahead and use the escape rope. Let's get out of here. I do have a couple escape ropes, even if we didn't have that one. So it's always a good item to have on hand. I have like 100 escape ropes. So let's go ahead and use that and make our way back out to Route 18. Cool. We're back in Route 18. We caught Raikou, and it is time for us to explore further and further and see what else we can find. We have some trainers here, too, who we are most likely going to have to battle. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Hello? You want to battle me? Oh, Rind Island is up ahead. There's a lot of magic cops there. Rind Island. That does sound pretty cool. Whoa, you're riding from Palatown. Are you attending the Orange Cup? Yeah, dude, we're trying to. We're trying to make it to the Orange Cup. That's where Blue is, so I know that we will be there eventually. We have made it to Rind Island. Eh, company, you're here just in time for the rush hour. 
Magikarp? The Magikarp's evolution trial. At the end of every month, Magikarp travels to Rhine Island to evolve into Gyarados. Oh, you're the infamous Rodri. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Quincy. So it looks like we are going to be battling Scientist Quincy. He's got a couple Magikarp. Are you kidding me? This is really what this guy throws out at us. A couple Magikarp. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do against a couple Magikarp. It's always a lot of fun going against a Pokemon that you really don't see very often on teams. I really don't see Magikarp on many teams. But let's go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt. This is going to be a great battle. We have Thor and Soul up in front. So our Mega Venusaur and our Pikachu should be able to handle things quite well. I also hope you guys are having a nice day. I've definitely been having a great day. Spending time with my family. Doing what I can during the summer. You know, just having a blast. It's been a really, really good time just hanging out here. And I've also been just communicating with you guys just listening to you reading your comments and that's always something that cheers me up and just gives me a really great start to my day let me go ahead and go for the leaf storm though we're gonna take out this magic card and the gyarados all at once another thing that's been brightening my day too is yesterday i put up a picture on instagram and on twitter of my dog spot he's actually my family dog I've known him for 13 years, which is pretty crazy. He's one of my oldest friends, and I started taking care of him a couple months back. My parents couldn't really take care of him as well as they once could, so, you know, I took charge of him. I went ahead and took ownership, and he has been such great company for me. I gotta tell you guys, you know, he really helped me heal, and I think I definitely did the same for him. And it's just been a really great relationship that I have with him, and I'm just thankful to have that, you know. If you guys have a pet... Or if you just have some people in your life that are always there for you, be thankful for it. You know, that's what it's all about. Having those people there that are going to back you up and, you know, just always care for you. I know that's how dogs are for me. I'm a big dog person. I'm a big animal person in general. I actually visited my sister this weekend. And it was pretty cool, you know, hanging out with her, seeing Killian, her husky. He's about two years old now. I think coming up on three, he's getting pretty big, you know. He's already full size. And every time I see him, I just think he keeps getting bigger and bigger. And what's funny is my sister actually has a cat. The cat's name is Cora, you know, like the avatar. I know. Don't have a clue how my sister picked that out. But it's a fantastic name. And somehow, Cora and Killian get along quite well. It's pretty strange. But it's cool to see. I've never really seen a cat and a dog getting along like that. Alright, you all checked out. You're welcome to stay and watch, but do not want to tackle catch any of the Magikarp. Thank you. Okay, guys, with that, we have made it to Rhine Island. So let's go ahead and check this place out. He told us we could look around, but we are not going to start things up around here. We're not going to start any trouble. We're not Team Rocket. The Magic Cards were swimming against the stream. That's part of the first trial. If the Magic Cards are able to complete all trials, they'll evolve into Gyarados. Wow. Come on, let's keep moving. Cool, so it looks like there are going to be little trials for the Magic Card. That has to be, you know, some of the fastest swimming I've ever seen, guys. I am totally kidding about that. Those Magic Card are pretty freaking slow. But, you know, maybe they'll evolve. Maybe they will improve themselves. It's a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to talk to the guy. Okay, so they just swam a little bit further down, and we're going to keep on going further to the left as well. Oh no, it's trying to swim up the waterfall. That's the final trial. The magic couple swims up the waterfall would evolve into Gyarados. Is that even possible? Watch and you'll see. Whoa! That magic card did it! Yeah! Go, little Magikarp! You just evolved into a Gyarados! It did it! And that's the end of the evolution trials over. An earthquake? Sounds like it came from the top of the waterfall. It's the Gyarados that evolved! Something's different with it. It looks different. It further evolves through a mega evolution. Like Blue's Charizard and Green's Blastoise. It's going to attack us. Here we go, guys! Rodri versus... We are going to be taking on... Mega Gyarados. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Gyarados X has come out. So we are going up against Mega Gyarados X. It's a great thing we have our boy Thor up in front. So we're going to go ahead and drop the Thunderbolt and see what we can do. Now, as you guys were able to see, this was a Gyarados that was sent out by a Gyarados. So I don't think we're going to be able to catch it because it counts as a trainer. So this is a boss battle here against Mega Gyarados X. Be prepared. Have your Pokemon ready, guys. That is what it's going to be about. Now, I'm going to show you guys just really quickly that we are not able to catch it. So we're going to try to throw an Ultra Ball at it and see what happens. Yeah, he just swatted that right back. So the trainer blocked the ball. And let's see what Gyarados X is going to do. So he is going to go for the crunch. We got to hang in there, Thor. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thor got knocked out. And that is not what I was hoping would happen. But it's okay. We got our boy Rocky ready to go. So we're going to miss the rock slide. Gyarados X is just going to keep on dragon dancing. We really, really need to hit this rock slide, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope that the crunch doesn't KO us. I think we'll be okay, though. We believe in Rocky. Rocky! Mother fudger, we got critted out. You have got to be kidding me, right? This Gyarados X is really going to crit us out like that? That's how you're going to do this thing? Okay. If that's what he wants to do... That is what he wants to do. We're going to go ahead and send out Soul. We are going to have to tank out a Hyper Beam. So my goodness, guys. You can tell how tough Mega Gyarados X is to go up against. And this guy is just critting me left and right for some reason. That is two crits that he landed on us. But with that, guys, Soul has landed the Sludge Bomb. Gyarados X has gone down. And we gained some good XP. We defeated Pokemon Gyarados. Ooh, that was tough with that we obtained the gyarados site awesome we can use that on our own gyarados well that was groundbreaking i never thought gyarados can mega evolve thank you rodri if you're heading to the orange league it's at pomelo island pomelo island is just north of rind island best of luck rodri okay thank you a few hours later i trust that you have rallied an army of gyarados oh yes drake Perfect. My plans are running perfectly. I gotta say, Professor, when you first came to me for help, I didn't expect you to risk your lifetime of work and credential to earn a few dollars. I'm a normal human being. I'm greedy, Drake. Uh, is something wrong? The ground. Someone's been fighting here. What are you not telling me? Uh, honestly, nothing happened. Quincy, you know what I hate? I hate it when people lie to me. And whenever someone lies to me, I'll get rid of them. If I am you, I'll tell the truth right now. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Earlier today, a Magikarp evolved into a Gyarados. It then Mega evolved with a Mega Stone. A Mega Stone? Oh, yes, yes. If my calculation's correct, there are probably more Mega Stones that evolved Gyarados up on that waterfall. I see. Then what happened to that Gyarados? A boy fought it and defeated it. He also took the Mega Stone. Who's this boy? Uh, Rodri from P Pallet Town? Rodri. <laughs> I see. I know he's that boy so Sissy and Danny's been talking about. Do you want me to go after him? You know, Quincy, Team Rocket's goal is to take over the Orange Archipelago. However, my goal is different to that. You want to know what my goal is? My goal is to rally up an army. After that, I'll use that army to track and take down Giovanni. Then with that army, I'll take down the Elite Four. Therefore, when I found out that you gave me a weapon to the one person who could stop me, you can imagine how I'm feeling right now. Quincy, I said I'll get rid of the people who lie to me. What you don't know is that I'll also happily get rid of people who fail me, even people who I've known for a long time. Your usefulness is over. No, 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 give me a chance! Whoa, so it looks like Quincy is in some trouble, but he definitely helped us out, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, we have made our way past Rhine Island, and we are going to have to check out where we can go. Let's head up through Route 20, and oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen! No way, I lost! You lost, now get lost, Lil. Is that rude for a little girl? Sorry, I don't speak, loser. Yeah. What is going on over there with Katie and Leo? It is something that we're going to have to figure out. Yeah. I can't believe I lost. With this win, I only need to be one more person to advance into the preliminary round. Dang it, I need to score three wins all over again. Three wins? It looks like we must be getting close. Why are you so strong? You're just a flower-loving wimp. Even the most beautiful rose in the world has its thorns. I won't forgive you for trampling on those beautiful flowers. Eh. So even Jessica is over there arguing. Blue? Blue, what the heck are you doing over there, dude? 
Blue! What is going on? All right, our buddy Blue is over there doing his thing, and we have officially made it to Pomelo Island. Amazing! You have all full badges. That means you can skip the invitation round and head straight into the preliminary round. Let's go! Just head straight into the Orange Cup Stadium. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have made it to Pomelo Island. And this is where the preliminary round for the Orange Cup is going to take place. This is fantastic. I'm definitely excited for this. And we are going to have to check out what we can find here on this island as well. There is the Pokemon Center. A couple more things to look around. And then we saw Blue just outside of this place. So we might have to go and find what Blue is doing. Now, there's one more thing that I want to do. And if you guys remember, we did get the Gyaradosite. So we're going to go ahead and use that item. Let me go ahead and find it. It is about time we are going to use that on our very own champ so with that guys i've gone ahead and brought champ back into our team i put boomy in the pc champ is level 78 so let's go ahead and use that gear site and see what's gonna happen gear site was used on champ what champ is evolving with that, ladies and gentlemen, our own gear dose is going to be evolving as well. I told you guys we were going to be getting more and more Megas, and this is how it's going to go. I'm definitely excited for this, and I know that you guys are as well. So with that, guys, I'd like you to welcome our new Mega to our team. Congratulations, our champ evolved into Mega Gear Dose X. With that, guys, we now have a Mega Gyarados on our team. So next time, we'll be continuing from here with our boy champ. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.